This is the Tom Bernard Podcast. Listen live weekday mornings, 8 to 930, or anytime you like as a podcast on the Tom Bernard app at TomBernardShow.com or wherever you get your podcasts. You damn right, ladies and gentlemen. So everything's good? Yeah. I, despite maybe a few uh, hiccups before the show, everything is all good. It's like every day now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But how about in the world? I mean, hiccups in the world? Yeah. Do we have any, like... Yeah, there's a lot of hiccups in the world. Did you not watch the news this morning? No, I didn't. I was... uh, we're at the point now where apparently uh, to call one candidate a fascist is okay. I don't, you know, really see the point in that. And then the other one, um, apparently, uh, it, look, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm not wild about either one of these people. I'm not even going to tell anybody who I'm going to vote for because I don't even know that th- at this point who I'm going to vote for. It might not be either one of them. Because I'm sick to death of the hatred. Like I said, I don't hate anybody. Uh, there are very hate, hateable people that I know. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't waste my energy on calling somebody a fascist. And then the other thing was apparently Donald Trump uh, called Kamala Harris lazy. So now he's a racist. And their explanation for why he's a racist is because black people were called lazy 150 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, before I would say that he's racist because he called her lazy, I would just say he's probably wrong because I don't think you get to be the vice president by being lazy. But well, you're wrong about that too. Those yeah. you ever you ever seen a vice president's worth his shit? Yeah, but I mean, like you can't. I would say you can't be lazy. Like they'd be like if somebody called Donald Trump lazy, I'd be like, eh, I don't think you get to be successful by just kind of laying on your ass all day. You know what's amazing? I did, because I saw this all happening, and you're a fascist, no, you're a racist, you're a horrible, and oh my God, everything sucks, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to point out again, and I'm just using my own life as as an experience. Did you ever notice I never went after Howard Stern? He attacked me every single day, called me every nasty name he possibly could. I never even responded to him, never brought him up, and he got his ass handed to him. People don't like this when you do this. One of politicians can understand, I don't like it when you call your opponent uh, a racist or you call your opponent a fascist or whatever. You're stupid. Yeah. I just don't see the upside in doing any of that stuff. No, and usually when you have to resort to name-calling and things like that, it's when you right. ran out of good points to make on your side. Yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right. That's, it's, that's like the classic, you're head-to-head with somebody and it's, you know, you, you get one up on them, and it's like, well, that shirt's terrible looking. Okay, <laughs> well, I, you resorted to a physical thing yep. instead of factual base. Go. I immediately win. Yep. You know what is amazing, though? So I, I decided to do it. I sat down this morning. Got a, I woke up early, and, and I did a little research. They're going to have to change a bunch of things about our system now because do you know the party of the ultra-wealthy is now by far the Democratic Party? Because all these very, very wealthy people saw their way in by pretending to care about the little man and the little woman. Mm -hmm. It's both parties do it. It's all bullshit. What are people going to understand? They don't care about you. They care about making money. And I'm talking about all of them. Yeah. You know, so how can you support anyone? They're all terrible. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, because you have to support somebody, which sucks for the way kind of the system is... I guess set up, um, but yeah, it uh, it needs to be performance based. I feel like with politicians, like hey, here's the list of stuff you promised. For everyone you knock off the list, we'll bump your salary up, and then that there way you, you earn ah, your. Yes. We, or you can earn your salary. We're not just paying you our hard earned money to tell us you're going to give us all this great stuff, and then we're sitting in the same spot we were four years ago, or eight years ago, or twelve yeah. years ago, or sixteen yeah, years ago. Pick. Take your four-year interview. Really <laughs> Although I did learn something today. I, you know, another tool that I can use Ooh. that when I get sick to death of this job, even though I've known him for like 15 years, I'm going to just call you lazy. Mm-hmm. And okay. then it makes me an automatic and, racist. And then I'm going to get flustered and call you a fascist. A fascist. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Call me a fascist. Mm-hmm. I have nothing to back that up, <laughs> but we're going to just go with that. I think that's so unbelievable. The whole thing. But what the hell, we'll just keep marching forward. And uh, I'm sorry, I just don't like any of these people. And I'll be very honest, with you, I, I show you, every. I get, and I am not exaggerating, I get 
50 to 100 messages a day from Donald Trump's office. Yeah. And it's, I feel like Jesus at a certain point, you just got to block the number. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, there are too many, but they're all different numbers. That's the whole deal uh, too. I see. I see. So that's the problem. You can block whatever you want, but they got, I got a thousand more numbers. I can call you. On. Yeah. I almost threw my phone off the balcony the other day because <laughs> I got a, like you. another of like 10 messages where it was like, you know, it's almost time. Yep. Are you ready? I'm like, guys, yep. I've texted stop to whoever is sending out these <laughs> messages like a thousand times. Please leave me alone. You know, I don't know much about, I've never, I've never met Kamala Harris and I don't know much about her and all the rest of it. I mean, I guess I know as much as everyone else, mm -hmm. but I've told you many, many times that in person, Donald Trump is nothing like he is on television. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're all like that, you know? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Cause you have to put on kind of a persona when you go out there and you're shaking hands. But if you were to you know, catch them sitting down, yeah. relaxing at the end of the day or kind of in their yeah. comfort zone, right. I'm sure that they'd be a much more tolerable person. Yeah. I would think. And I, I wish they showed more of that. And I understand you have to show a certain, like, um, authoritarian, because you, mm -hmm. you don't want to campaign and look like you can be pushed around by, like, other world yeah. leaders. Yeah. And, stuff like, and I get yeah. that. But also, if you could show that you relate to, like, just the average citizen a lot more, some blue-collar worker, if you can relate to them and, like, mm -hmm. you know, you have more in common you're probably going to get more votes. Yeah, and they always do such a bad job of trying to relate. Like, they'll be yeah. like, I know well, how I'll do. relate. Right. They'll be like, I'm going to do this TikTok trend. And it's like, no, you don't have, like, that's not how you, like, just right. sit down and have, like, a normal conversation yeah. with the everyday person. Yeah, and I, I, like I said before, it's all about making money. Why are all those Democrats now, uh, all those very wealthy people Democrats? Because there's more money in it. Mm -hmm. Why we're Republicans and still are? Because there's more money in it. It's all about the money. It always is and always will be. It's disgusting. But the one good thing about it is, is that I now have new names to call people, which I really like. Thank goodness. Using that <laughs> hole. I don't have enough names to call people. But <laughs> I, I just got, look, I'm not criticizing. You, you want to vote for Kamala Harris? Good for you. You want to vote for Donald Trump? Good for you. I just, I'm sick to death death of this race. It's been disgusting. I wouldn't waste my time calling someone a fascist or lazy. No. Well, you I'd call lazy. Yeah. Because that's, well, that's my door, the exit door from here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's deserved. I think that, uh, <laughs> that's well deserved. And then the worst part too, is you'll have a bunch of people that don't like look anything up and now we'll just start calling everybody oh, fascists yeah. and oh, yeah. stuff like that. And it's like, do you even understand like the history <laughs> of where that came from? Can you define the word please? Sir? Yes. Can you give me well, examples of other former <laughs> leaders? Yeah. People have no idea. Fascism. I just love the fact that they, they love to compare people to Hitler. Is there anyone worse than Hitler in the history of the world? No. It's like he no. like, tried to exterminate an entire race. Yeah, like, he did. I get it. You don't like Donald Trump. Doesn't mean he's Hitler. I know. It's just, Jesus, would you settle it? Look, we're going to have a president. I don't know who it's going to be. Will I live through it? Yes. I've lived mm -hmm. through all the other ones. And again, ladies and gentlemen, please take my advice on this. Don't waste your minutes or seconds of the day hating anyone you don't even know because it's all bullshit. It's all made up political BS to try to make more money. That's what they're all doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see what will happen regardless of who wins like four years from now, especially if Trump wins. Yeah, because all of these people that are like the die hard, like I saw a guy that a picture of a guy that had mega tattooed on the back of his head. Oh, did he? It's so all like I want to know what he's going to do. Yeah. After Trump's done. Well, can he grow his hair over it? I, I hope so, but it's massive. <laughs> it's massive. It's like like these diehard like Trump supporters that go a bridge too far. Like, what are they going to do in four years when he's out of office? I. What are any of them going? You're absolutely right. What are they, any of them going to do? You're all nuts. Honest to God, calm down. And I tell you what, our media is disappearing, and it's a good thing because my God, these people are disgusting. Mm -hmm. I, like I, I watch TV for a grand total of about maybe five minutes this morning, and that's where I found out that calling calling someone lazy is racist, which it's not. But you know, and then on the other side, you got you know the the wealthiest people in in the United States are now all Democrats because they figured out it's a, an easier way to make money and cover their backs by pretending to support uh, you know 
the average Joe out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And speaking of average Joe, that Joe, what's the name of that Joe show in the morning? He's a political show on MSNBC. Oh, it's like a cup of, of Joe or something, something cheesy like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah, it is. What that, what's that guy's <laughs> name again? Joe. He is dreadfully horrible. Look, it's not our fault that you have little children's eyes and an adult's head. <laughs> Oh, Morning Joe. With morning Joe. Joe. Scarborough. Is that M O U R N I N G? No, but it should be. <laughs> I'm morning having to watch Joe. How about that? God, he, what a hateful prick that guy. And then his partner on there, a woman, she's a bigger prick than he is. Like, who is that woman? Let's see here. I mean, look, I don't like any of that national news crap. It's all disgusting to me. Micah? Micah? Is that her name? I don't know. It's Joe, Micah, or Mika Brzezinski, and Willie Geist. Oh, so th- those two aren't married, are they? The two man and the woman, are they married? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, they, okay. They know. present in-depth and informed discussions in that, help, depth. <laughs> that help drive the day's current political conversation. Look, go out and vote for whomever you wish to vote for. If anybody criticizes you for voting for whomever you're going to vote for, tell them to blow it out their ass, because all these people are the same. They're in it for the money. That's what we got to choose from. We didn't do this. Our government did this. Mm-hmm. So you don't really have a, like a real person to vote for. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Really is unfortunate. Got to take a break here because I've been, I rambled a bit, but you know, it's the way it goes. Yeah, it's your show. Sioux Falls, one of the most business-friendly states in the country, and there's no better place to settle down and take advantage of those incentives than in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It is a beautiful town, no question about it. As the state's largest city with a metro population over 290,000, Sioux Falls has low business costs with a high quality of life. There is no state, corporate, or personal income tax. There's no inheritance tax and no limits on what your business can achieve. Sioux Falls, South Dakota was recently named the number one best small city for business and careers by Forbes, the number two best state business tax climate by the Tax Foundation, and the number five top state for e-commerce by Nexus. As one of the Midwest's fastest growing cities, Sioux Falls has a robust growing job market. No matter where you're at in your career, we have an opportunity waiting for you. Our city's tax-friendly climate and strong workforce don't go unrecognized. Forbes named Sioux Falls one of the top small cities for business and careers each of the last 15 years. In 2020, Sioux Falls also ranked as the number four best city for young professionals. You two, young professionals. Mm -hmm. Why don't you guys both move to South Dakota? It's a good idea. (laughs) Might be a long commute, but we'll we'll make it work. No, 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 you're out of the mix. Sorry, he moved out of town. How does South Dakota stack up against other states? We rank second in the nation for the lowest cost of doing business, the most business-friendly state in the best business tax climate. And as South Dakota's biggest city, Sioux Falls, is at the center of these benefits. Now is the perfect time to make your move to Sioux Falls. Visit SiouxFallsDevelopment.com. When you need someone to listen, a lawyer you know and trust. If you've never been in an auto accident, it's hard to know what to expect from the insurance adjuster. Here are some tips. One, if they talk to you about whether or not you should hire a lawyer, it's a good sign that you probably should. Two, it's illegal for them to give you any legal advice. They aren't lawyers and they aren't licensed to practice law. Three, if they tell you that everyone involved in the accident is at fault, they're wrong. This comes from the belief that you're at fault for just being on the road. That's nonsense and not supported by any law. Finally, remember that friendly adjusters are often just gaining information. They want you to do most of the talking so they can file their report. I'm Mike Bryant from Bradshaw and Bryant. I hope you're never injured in a collision. But if you are, don't sign anything until you've talked to us. Find Bradshaw and Bryant, personal injury attorneys at minnesotapersonalinjury.com. Seeking justice for the injured. Bradshaw and Bryant. Ladies and gentlemen, does thinking about retirement make you uncomfortable? Sometimes the anxiety from wondering if you've saved enough can be overwhelming. But what if I told you... You could ease those tensions in just 48 minutes. My guy, Josh Arnold, Mr. Money Talk, can sit down with you and get you on the right track, your financial future. And by the way, a lot of guys say that. They all sit down with you and blah, blah. Look, Josh Arnold spends his entire life doing this very thing, sitting down with people he doesn't know to try to help them out. Josh has navigated it all when it comes to uncertain market and economic conditions. He'll uh, always provide straight talk to never sugarcoated advice on how to reach the finish line with your retirement goals. Don't let your financial worries give you an ulcer. 
or keep you from calling Josh right now. His 48-minute no-obligation consultation could be just what you need to feel better about your future. Call Josh today at 952-925-5608 and set up your free 48-minute no-obligation consultation. That's 952-925-5608. Investment services offered by Josh Arnold Investment Consultant, LLC Security Investment Advisor. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. All investments involve risk. All comments and opinions are Josh Arnold's and do not constitute investment advice, and I am a paid endorser. You're listening to the Tom Bernard Podcast. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sports, they refer to him as Judd Zolgad, scored north. Um, what's the latest? They refer, they refer to me, to me as, as that? that? I, say, I refer to you as the lazy fascist, just like all the you know, political lazy, opponents yeah, are doing yeah. now. A lazy fascist. Yeah, what do you think? Sort of like Trump, it. Trump called her a, a, a lazy, and she called him a fascist. Oh, she, he, she didn't call him a fascist, but her, her oh, yeah, followers yeah, did. Yep, yep, yep. yep. It's wrestling. wrestling. Uh, it is all-star wrestling. That's exactly wrestling. This is not real. None They're cutting promos. That's, that's exactly it. But, you know, we'll go forward, and we'll live through it. I used to get upset by this kind of oh, One thing, I, I need some advice from you guys. Because as we get closer, and it happens to me every two to four years, mostly four years, mm-hmm. by the time you get in that two-week you know, circle there, you're inside that. We're 13 days now out uh, from the election. I get more and more annoyed by, by these people running for office. I, I just, like I said, I, I have not revealed who I'm going to vote for. I will vote in the uh, presidential election. I don't know who I'm going to vote for yet. I don't like anybody that calls somebody a name like either lazy or fascist, and they both did that, so I've got nowhere to go right now. But here's what I do need. Yes. yes. I get very stressed out by this because I really wish the world wasn't this filthy. People are basically decent, but the one thing that changes this world forever is money. And it's doing it to America again. This is a money hunt. It has nothing to do with, you know, <laughs> running things for the people or taking care of the people. It's all about how much money I can make by being internationally famous and a power figure. Right? Well, the, well, then they should become, become singers, singers right? right? Yeah, they absolutely. I mean, should be Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift has, has them all beat. beat. Yeah, absolutely. Become, become a, singer. a singer, and she's not even any good. I just did that to piss off about nine. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now <laughs> the cut. Now, now you, 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 you think your political, your political views, views get you in <laughs> trouble? <laughs> oh, you Taylor's crew will, will come for, for you. you. You know who absolutely loves her? Brittany. I said, Brittany, for Christ's sake, you're not a teenager anymore. Grow up, for Christ's sake. Britney is a uh, probably the biggest Swifty that I know. <laughs> she really, really? is. Really? Oh God, huge! Yeah. No, quite. She is such a sweetheart of a woman. I I ran into her a couple of weeks ago. Which, Which one? one? Oh, Brittany. Brittany. Okay. Brittany. No, no, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I ran into her. Just casually ran into Taylor Swift. I don't yeah, Taylor's she going on. Tall. How mm-hmm. tall is that woman, by the way? Taylor Swift. She's got to be over six feet tall, isn't she? Or is it really long heels or something? Probably long, long heels. heels. She's five ten. Okay. Oh, okay. God, I thought she'd be taller than that. She's a, she's a tall glass of water. So Catherine's taller than she is? I didn't know that. Catherine's 5'11", which I am now, too, by the way. I lost two inches of height from working with you pills. I'm sure that's what did it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah no, no question. question. <laughs> I blame me, Jay. <laughs> that's it. That's exactly right. So what's happening in the – I know that the uh, our basketball team did what they usually do. They go, oh, we're going to be great, and then they get their ass handed to them. Yeah, the, yeah, Timberwolves, the Timberwolves looked, looked uh, really, uh, really bad, bad last, last night. night. Lost. Lost. By, By seven, seven, which was, was not reflective. reflective. I think the maximum, maximum they trailed by was 19, 19 and they looked <laughs> awful in that game. game. But, but awful. It's, it's the, the first game. game. There's two yeah. things. The first the thing was they did, did not, not show, show up prepared, prepared to play, play which, which is eminently, eminently fixable, fixable quickly. quickly. They played yeah. Thursday, Thursday night in Sacramento. Sacramento. The, other the other thing, thing is with Devin Chinzo and Julius Randle being acquired, they look completely out of sync, which is going to take some time to get them um, yeah, I suppose. Familiar with, with the, the either, either the style of play or their or teammates. teammates, but, but uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was, was not good, good. But it was one game. game but the Wild, wild won again. again. They, they are now second, second all time in NHL, NHL history, history at the start, the start of a season, of season uh, for, for not, not trailing, trailing in a, in a game. game. Really? So they've so lost two in overtime, but in during the course of a game, they have not trailed yet. Really? 
Yep, they've yep, been they've tied, tied a lot, lot, but they have they not trailed, trailed yet, yet, and, and uh, they, they are playing really, really well. well. So, so that's, that's the good news. news. There, there is good news this morning in Minnesota, Minnesota sports. sports. Glad to hear it. And <laughs> he just goes There's, silent. There, there is good news. Like, that's what I'm giving. I'm giving you the good news. I'm allowing you to digest it. It's so rare to have good news. I am digesting it right now, along with the political world. Right, and Judd kind of twisting to the Vikings here because it's we're coming up on the trade deadline. So I've heard rampant speculation all over the place on getting acquiring somebody like a Matthew Stafford to a uh, the, who's a defensive tackle for the Giants or Miles Garrett or all these defensive ends that are potentially on the move. Is there anything of substance out there that you're hearing? You know, you know I, could I could see, see them, them going, going, going after, after a defensive, defensive tackle. tackle. They're, They're not, not going to go after, after a defensive, defensive end because they're, they're a 3-4 three, three, team, team that has, has a couple of guys, guys that can already rush. rush. Mm-hmm. The, the Matthew, Matthew Stafford, Stafford thing started yesterday, yesterday on Twitter. On Twitter. And I and think it's nothing, nothing more than, than just, just an elaborate hoax. hoax. Okay. Because, because um, I, don't I don't think the Vikings, Vikings are in a position, position or the Rams, Rams more, more so from a, a financial, financial perspective, to make, to make a trade, a trade like, that. like that. Well, he did win a Super Bowl, correct? With he did? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I never he thought did. he was that good, to tell you the truth. Was the other the rest of the team that good, or was I just wrong? He was, he was really, really good, good, but he had been, been, been with Detroit, Detroit before, before that, that and right. Detroit, Detroit was, was so bad, bad for so long, so long yeah. that, it that it made him, him look, look not, not that, great. that great. I understand that. So they got the big game tomorrow night with Matthew Stafford and your Minnesota Vikings. Yes, yes which, which, by the by way, way, can be seen be locally, locally here on Channel, on Channel 9. 9. So, so uh, it, it's, it's an, an Amazon, Amazon Prime, Prime game, and, and you know, I think a lot of people get it, but I think a lot of people probably don't get that streaming service. But because, but because it's a Vikings, Vikings game, it also has to be shown locally, so, so Channel, Channel 9, 9 will have, have the uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime, Prime feed. feed. I'm glad to hear that because, uh, what is that, a 7 o'clock start? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like right around 7, seven probably, or 7 something 50, like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I can watch that and then hit the sack a quarter after 10, 10, 30. That'll work. Yeah, well, the game will be over by halftime. We'll be up, you know, 30 uh, points, and you can just... Go 30 points, just go to yeah. bed then. Yeah. That's, That's what, what led to the Timberwolves, Timberwolves loss last, last night, night. <laughs> Kevin. Me that type of overconfidence. <laughs> well, probably true, but I don't know. I'll be watching that team tomorrow night. I, uh, I did not like the way they lost that game against uh, Detroit, but, you know, they should have won that game. They absolutely should have won oh, that God, game, God, but yeah. didn't. So we'll see if they can bounce. Well, L.A. is terrible this year, aren't they? Yeah, they're injury. Uh, now, they, uh, might now they might get a couple guys back. back. It looks oh, like they, they might get, get Cooper Cup, who's a really good receiver back. back. He's been out for a long time. time. And, they and they actually, actually have, have a, receiver, a receiver, I'm not joking about his about name, name, Puka, Puka Nakua. Nakua. And, and Puka might be back name. as well. Did you know that? My What's real name is Puka Nakua. I didn't know you knew that. How about that? Let's see, should I go with Puka Nakua or Tom Bernard? What should I go with? Ooh, that's a tough one. It's a tough call, baby. I might go with Puka. 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 Yeah, thanks, Mom and Dad. You named me Puka. I'm not going to be called Poop the entire time in grade school, but, you know. that's Yeah, but once you get past get that, past that, that's a cool name. name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you got to fight through. you got to fight through the whole thing. I don't know, man. I just, you know, look, I love the fact that. Now, now do they play again on Sunday? No. 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 Oh, I was going to say. I they have, they play November play 3rd. Oh, all right. That, and, that's and that's the game that's, the game that's been, been moved to prime, prime time. time. So, so, no, they, they don't play, play again, again on Sunday. Sunday. You get, it's basically, it's basically what they what call, call a mini bye week. week. Yeah. But playing, but playing again, again on, Thursday on Thursday is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Yeah, they call yes. it a mini bye to make it kind of lessen the blow of having to go from a Sunday and yeah. essentially just <laughs> right back into another car crash on Thursday. And it's, and it's stupid, stupid because, because they, they just played the Lions, who, you know, physical team. Mm-hmm. Incredibly, Incredibly uh, um, stressful, stressful stress in game, game on the body, and then, and then you have them play, play on Thursday. Thursday. And, and not to, not mention, to mention the Vikings, Vikings case, case travel, travel to the West, the West Coast. Coast. Right. The, yeah, the, uh, people people think that oh, it's not that big a deal. They hop on the plane and go out there. That's a bitch to do that much traveling in a four day period. Jesus. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, well, and you, and you can't. You can't I know, I know it's, it's comfortable, comfortable flights, flights, like, like you know, yeah, charters yeah. and all that. Yeah. But, but to your point, point, you're still, you're still going, going, what, two, two time, time zones? zones? Yep. Like that, like that you, you can't, can't not, not make, make that, that happen. happen. <laughs> I know. I mean, you just played, what, 76 hours ago by the yeah, time yeah. You, you hook up. or When the, when NFL, the NFL says they, says they care, care about, about player, player safety, safety, they're lying. Yeah. If they really cared, you would take and say, okay, after your bye week, you play a Thursday night game, or like, right, there's ways right. to you know, make sure that you're not putting that much stress on your body, but yeah, it's about money for the NFL. So. Beyond, Beyond finances, finances, do we really, do we really need, need a Thursday, Thursday game every week? week? That's, That's my, my question. question. Like yeah. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, I love. I love. Right. Great tradition. Right. Right. Do, we really do we really need, need a Thursday night, night game every week? week? And a lot of times it's not a great game. 
No, we don't, we don't need, need it. it. No, no I it's agree. A, it goes it's back, back to Tom's, Tom's thing. thing. It's all, all a cash, cash grab. grab. It's all money. Everything is about money. Yes. <laughs> Which I guess is. But right. it always has, has been, been right? right? Yeah. Well, not to the point. Well, they people will do. Well, maybe you're right. People have always done anything for money. Yeah. Well, and now with the streaming service, like when Amazon's like, "Hey, we're going to give you, you know, a billion dollars right. if you let us stream." It's a billion a year. Football. Yeah. A it's a billion, billion a year. A year. Because, because it's you know because, because it's such a specific, specific platform, platform, but it gets, but it gets them, them so much attention. attention. Like it's, like way, it's way more than, than, than you would, you would get, get from, from a network. network. Right. So like I mean, if you gave me a billion dollars a year, sorry to say, guys, we're also playing on Thursdays. So yeah, we yeah, got it. It's tough. We're good to go. No question about it. Yeah, I've had a kind of a, a tough morning in any case. You know, got this podcast on this. It's in his second year, and you know, moving forward and all the rest of it, and then. At least 10 times in the six minutes I watched the national news, I got to hear how Joe Rogan has 17 million followers. I'm like, shut up and leave me alone. Oh, because he's going to have Trump Trump on, on, right? Didn't I see that? that? Yeah, he's going to have Trump on, I guess, Friday or something. I I don't know when it's going to be, but honest to God, 17 million. Again, he was an international figure. He's been an actor on TV and in movies and... He had his own game shows and all that stuff. I understand he's a very well-known person, but I've tried listening to him. I don't get the attraction. Am I wrong about that? Is that a good show? He's an acquired taste. <laughs> oh, okay. He, well, uh, there you go. That makes I would sense. say the guests. I enjoy the guests he have, has on. Yeah, he's on. got great Like, yeah. when he has Joey Diaz on Joey's and things like that, like, oh, my gosh, like he has a bunch of funny comedians. But if it was just him behind a microphone, I don't mm. know that I would tune in for that. That yeah, makes sense. So he, is he a good interviewer? Yeah, I mean, it's a natural conversation. Every yeah, once in a while, good. he'll get that's off good. on, like, these weird only eat raw elk meat and, like, oh, you have to God. wear the shoes with the toes in them because it's better for your feet and stuff like that. So he'll kind of get off on these random health tangents. But, <laughs> I mean, for the most part, it's a <laughs> solid He cares, he cares about, about your toes? toes? Oh, yeah. The, there was one that, yeah, he's like, <laughs> he only walks around in, like, the shoes that have, like, slots for your toes because yeah. it's supposed to help your base, and that sends signals up through your body to make you more healthy, and he eats okay. raw elk meat, and it's a whole thing. You know what this okay. is all about? He promotes his own health products and stuff like that as yeah. well. So, and, and, Joe, let me point something out. You can do all that all you want. You ain't getting any taller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's what this is really all about. I have never seen a man so upset that he's and good. He probably a tough guy. Didn't he? Did he ever do MMA fighting himself? I, I think he did do MMA fighting. I but he he's. Did, yeah. I mean, obviously the commentator for them and right. and things like that. But I think he did dabble in it a little bit. I, he was on a comedy, comedy right? right? Was that? What, what, yeah, he's a stand-up comedian. He well, did okay. Fear Factor. I mean, his stand-up. I don't think is that great, but uh, gotcha. I mean, he's popular. Now, I've just never gotten along with Joe. I had him on the KQ Morning Show. He was just a prick the whole time he was on the show. I'm like, I'm giving you time on my show, and you're acting like an asshole. Don't you're never coming back to here? Go, go get your other 17 million followers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what the hell? What else is happening? That's, That's all I got, got for you. you. I, think I think we've, we've exhausted. exhausted That's the, plenty. I, I, mean, I mean, there's, there's the, good the good with the wild, the bad, bad with the wolves. The Vikings, the Vikings were, were, were anticipating. anticipating. Big week. Anticipating. Yeah, it is a big week, no question about it. Do you guys do anything like on a, when there's a Thursday night game? Do you make special dinner arrangements, like do some takeaway to, to eat dinner and watch the game at the same time? Nothing, Nothing special. special. No, I used to I do that when I was a kid, a teenager sure. into my 20s, but I don't, I don't really do that anymore. Well, yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, if, if you're, you're in your 20s, 20s or something, and especially if, if, you, if you, you're, you're going to either, either go, go out, out and watch, watch the game, game or, or hang, hang out with buddies and watch it, yeah. I'm too old for that. I just had somebody send me something. I haven't read the story yet, but all the rest of it. I love our listeners. I really do. (laughs) Because, you know, Donald Trump did that appearance at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You see now it's been revealed that 50 people nationwide have been poisoned by McDonald's hamburgers. Boy, what a coincidence. Quarter pounder. It sounds like the the onions onions are the the early early favorite is the culprit. culprit. One One dead dead and a bunch bunch sick. sick. Wait, what? Dead? One One person person died. died. From is this well, they probably, probably were, con- you know, had, had something, something else, else, but <laughs> they probably had something. Well, I mean, else. they probably, probably did have like, like a pre existing condition, condition right? right? That's, That's what ordinarily really happens. happens. Do you think it's a coincidence that just a few days within him praising McDonald's and how he'd love to work there, that all of a sudden people are dying from McDonald's? Yeah, it looks like an E. coli outbreak. E. coli, yeah. yeah, that's a poop deal, isn't it? 
Uh, yeah, well, it well. looks like somebody in Colorado passed away. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's, it's both, both ways, ways Tom. Tom. It's terrible. I think, I think he, oh, he coli is a both a both ways deal. I don't think it's pretty. <laughs> I think it's a weight <laughs> loss mechanism, <laughs> but it's not, not pretty. pretty. Well, I'm sorry to hear something. Somebody did actually die. Yeah, yeah it looks like yeah, it's somebody terrible. in uh, Colorado. How do we not keep a better watch on things like E. coli? Yeah, and I mean a lot of times it's like a maybe in transport the uh, raw chicken oh, drips yeah. onto the yeah. onions. Nobody yeah. notices, and yeah, maybe. I'm, actually I'm actually surprised stuff, stuff like this. this doesn't, doesn't happen, happen more. more. Real? Oh, really? Well, well just, just with, like, like, like Tevin said, said, with how things are transported, are transported and, and, like... Yeah, that's true. You know, you know I'm, I'm surprised that, that, that we, we don't, don't have, have more, more, which is... I'm very glad, glad we, don't. we don't. All right, you pill. Well, it's always great to talk to you, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Yes, yes outstanding. outstanding. We will uh, love. We will preview even more the Rams-Vikings tilt. Looking forward to it. Judd, thank you, sir. See you guys. See you guys. Judd's all good. Score North. Ladies and gentlemen, take a break. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes. We've got Chris Eggert coming up. Another another uh, broadcasting genius. Yeah, something like that. Mm. What are you peering over? The t- you're peering. I'll say, are you fixing something? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. Yes. Because we both looked at you like, what the hell's he doing? Yes, yeah, so I'm working on stuff behind the scenes here, but thank <laughs> oh, you for, for your Oh, for Christ's concern. sake. Might be time for me to fold it up. <laughs> Let's get a paper route or some shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back in a couple of minutes. Owner Tim Bloom and his staff at EcoFund Motorsports in Forest Lake in Burnsville specialize in quality, affordable scooters, mopeds, youth ATVs, motorcycles, electric bikes. They have bicycles here, so I better say electric bicycles. Um, ATVs, go-karts, and side-by-sides for the Twin Cities area. EcoFund Sports. Motorsports, of course. EcoFund Motorsports offers premier brands such as Bentelli. Is it Bentelli or Benelli? I thought it was Benelli. I thought it was Benelli as well. Yes. It says Bentelli. Maybe that's a television show. Yeah, maybe rebranding. Who knows? All right. Well, I'll say it's either Benelli or Bentelli. It's written Bentelli here, but I don't know. I thought I'd throw them both out there. Lance Kawasaki, Moto Guzzi, Scoot Star. Uh, Yamaha, Vanderhall, Vespa, and Wildside, among many others, already looking for early holiday deals to take advantage of. Well, visit EcoFund Motorsports, the premier outdoor recreation playground in the Twin Cities. Take advantage of their unbelievable Yamaha electric bike sale going on now through November 4th. Owner Tim Bloom says this is the biggest deal he has ever been a part of in his 17 years in the motorsports business. These are high-quality Yamaha-designed and built bikes that need to get sold ASAP. By the Yamaha Cross Score uh, RC electric bike. Ideal for bike trails, sidewalks, and roads. MSRP is $29.99, but it's currently on sale for $1,199 plus fr- uh, freight setup and tax. By a full suspension off road Yamaha YDX Moro electric mountain bike. Original MSRP at $4,799, on sale now for $1,919, $1,919. That is now through November 4th, or by the race version, the Yamaha YDX Moto Pro, or it says Moro Pro here, uh, electric mountain bike, original MSRP, $54.99, now on sale for $2,199. Both models come with a free second battery, yes, I said a free second battery, and a five-year warranty, which I love. Colors and sizes are on a first-come basis, so hurry into EcoFund Motorsports today in Forest Lake or Burnsville to get your Yamaha electric bike now before they are gone. Visit EcoFunMotorsports.com and tell owner Tim Bloom that Tom Barnard sent you. The past several years have been the craziest in the history of the car business. The pandemic, supply chain and chip issues, all causing extreme inventory shortages that led to, well, predatory pricing. Some dealers charge thousands of dollars over MSRP. We never played that game. I'm Jim Paul of Alley Buick GMC. We knew that would leave a bad taste in a customer's mouth. More importantly, from an integrity standpoint, it was just wrong. So what about the current market? You know, inventory and pricing. Valley has their best inventory in years. Really, all the Buick and GMC models. Even the previously hard-to-find Yukons, HD pickups, and Hummer EVs. Plenty of deep discounts. Many with factory rebates and low-interest financing. Then it's a good time to buy? It's a great time. We're welcoming our previous customers back, as well as anyone else that felt the treatment just didn't feel right the last time somewhere else. Valley Buick GMC in Apple Valley and Hastings or valleycardealers.com. Car buying without the bad aftertaste. Mike Lindell and MyPillow employees want to thank our listeners for all your continued support. 
when Mike started My Pillow. It was just a problem solution, one product company. Well, since then, they now have hundreds of products, some you may not even know about. For example, the brand new four pack dish towels, just 25 bucks. Six pack towel sets, just $25. Bed sheets for as low as 25 bucks. Check out their overstock and closeout sale and save up to 80%. Yes, I said 80% off select items. Looking for a good night's sleep? Take advantage of the classic collection on a variety of my pillows for as low as $9.88. These amazing offers won't last long, so order now. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com or call 800-516-5146, and please do use promo code TOM. You're listening to the Tom Bernard Podcast. Channel 5's Chris Eggert brought to you by Mr. Money Talk, Josh Arnold. Call Josh today for your free 48-minute evaluation at 952-925-5608. So, Chris, I need your help with something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As we get closer and closer to the election, I'm getting more and more annoyed by how much I dislike these people, and I mean all of them. So is there something I should be using like ashwagandha? You know, take a couple of couple of hits of that so I feel better and I'm in a better mood. Is there anything out there I can take to get these people out of my head? I mean, I think, I mean, there's, I think all there's all kinds, kinds of things you can, you can take, take, but are you guys are getting, you guys getting feedback, feedback from me? From me? No, 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 we're working through that right now. We don't hear that, but it sounds like you do. So we're, we're still trying to push. Oh, gotcha. Got Cause I heard it with judge you. All, right, All right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, um, what, 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 what? Yeah. I yeah, think there's, there's a lot, a lot of, of different different products 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 of products you can take, take Tom, Tom that, that might, might help. help. Like what? I need something because I'm all pissed off at the world right now. Um, I think, I think um, um, if your phone's like mine, like it's mine, always telling me about different kinds of gummies and things that I'm going to be trying instead of drinking alcohol. It's convinced me that I shouldn't drink alcohol anymore, even though you love it. Well, I enjoy, I enjoy a drink. Well, you're a South Dakotan. A lot of booze hounds in South Dakota. What's that supposed to be? Both Dakotas, for being honest. Yeah. Kevin can attest to the Kevin can attest to the Northern Dakota. I lived in North Dakota. Dougie's here. Doug Sprinthal just strolled in. What could be better? We're just talking about. Doug, I'm asking Chris Eggert for some help uh, because I'm getting so annoyed by these two political parties and the people they have for <laughs> us. I need to take something to soften my brain, like ashwagandha. Somebody told me, oh, you should take ashwagandha. You'll feel a lot better. I think scotch that. works well. Yeah, you don't want me drinking scotch. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my gun? <laughs> Great. Yeah, that's all I need. But is there something that actually does work, makes you nice and calm? To make, make you, forget you forget about, about politics? politics? Yes, I don't, I don't want to think about this at yes. all anymore. Maybe ether? Ether, that'd yeah. be good. <laughs> Cyanide? Cyanide? Tevin just quit the job. He's up, he got up and left. No, he's, he's helping. He's helping me. Oh, tell everybody that he, he's, he quit because you walked in and ruined <laughs> everything. Anyway, while he's fixing that, what we're going to do, for some reason, every day now, the equipment is just totally off the deep end. I don't know what it's all done. I think but it might be better be now because I, I just, just heard, heard it, change it change a little, a little bit, bit, bit on my end. You, you, you did, 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 did. Uh, maybe not. Being on the way in, and other than the last five minutes, it sounded fine. Content was a little weak. On his, content was very weak. I <laughs> well, I mean, come on. You're, you're already used to that. Yeah, yeah it's just a given. So, yeah, it's yeah, better. It's better. It, it, I don't hear it right, right, now. right now. Good. Mm. How about well, now, Chris? How about now? Now he does. Um, well, we had a big story in the news this morning, which was a crazy thing that happened. Um, guy yesterday in Uptown fires a couple of shots off at some people from a balcony, uh, gets in his car, drives all the way out west, like towards Wilmer, mm -hmm. um, shoots somebody, and then shoots and kills somebody in an attempted carjacking on the other end of that. Like that's very rare for something like that to start in the city and end up out. It, we don't know much of anything about the dude. He's in jail though. So mm -hmm. that's, that's the good news. And I guess we'll probably find out more about that today, but it's a crazy I, story. I heard something about that on the way in Chris this morning. And then, Public radio was reporting it started out as a domestic violence deal that he no. was shooting at his ex-girlfriend and her new partner. Oh, Didn't kill them and then decided to drive out west and just shoot at random folks. Just don't even know the people, just shot them. God oh, damn it. God. Typical. It's <laughs> Typical ridiculous. Um, yeah. We also had a story this morning, which is pretty crazy. And a friend of mine saw it on Monday 
he was in Savage, um, just was driving through Savage and saw um, this like crazy event play out right in front of him. Uh, some kind of a, a, a worker was got into a road rage altercation with somebody. The dude freaked out, got out, shot him. My buddy watched this happen. And um, the dude's phone, it, a bullet hit the guy's Ooh. phone and it saved him. Yeah. Oh, I could see that. Insane. I want to see right. if I remember what's the name of the company. iPhone or Android. This is yep. important. Yeah. That is a good, that's a damn good question. Um, I just think, well, when are we going to have our leadership stand up and say, all right, enough with the anger. I know there's an election and we're trying to piss everybody off. Our leadership right now is the weakest it's ever been. My God, it's lame. I mean, uh, yeah. Back to that thing we said earlier about finding that magic pill that you can take, Tom, to just make yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a magic pill out there somewhere. You're kind of a magic just, just take, pill yourself. Yeah, yeah, that magic pill right here. Just take the magic pill, Tommy, and everything's okay. Um, it's yeah, come. that savage thing. Crazy, like. Yep. He's, you know, just a typical suburban Twin Cities neighborhood and this thing all played out. And uh, I, of course, I was taking a nap when my friend called me and told me that this was happening. So then by the time I woke up, <laughs> then I called the newsroom and, you know, we were like, yeah, typical. But. You're supposed to be the breaking news guy, Chris. You're I was, I have to take a nap. So I, I got, I get up and I, I have to sleep sometime, Teb. Yeah, it, because have you heard anything about this Wisconsin sex ring involving the CEO or former CEO of Amber Crombie and Fitch? Oh my God! Well, there's a there's a connection to um, Barron County, mm -hmm. which is in western Wisconsin.